so I had this whole video planned out. I was going to do like a shed makeover video. Um, and I actually filmed me painting the inside of my shed. Somehow I deleted every single footage on my camcorder that I filmed that morning. <laughs> so I deleted all the footage of me painting the inside of my shed. And even though it was pretty boring, um, I wanted to sort of take you on the journey of doing up my shed. Uh, but instead, I'm just going to have to give you a tour of the shed now. Um, obviously, you saw me and my dad putting the galvanised roof on, which I'm so happy with. Oh, I'm so chuffed with it. Like, the galvanised sheeting's been sat um, leaning up against the greenhouse in the back garden for about three years now. And it's been one of those jobs which has just been, you know, pushed to the back of the list. Um, but the roofing felt down the centre um, was ripping and you could actually see the sky up through the the pitch in the roof. So, um, yeah, I, th I think it was about time to put the roof on. I'm so, so happy with it. Um, so thank you to my dad for helping me out with that. It was quite a simple job. Um, he basically, well, we, we cut them down to size at home um, and... Then he just used a drill and these special screws with washers on um, to put along the side. So he put three on each piece of metal and obviously one on the overlapping piece. Um, and then the ridge went along the centre in, in the same sort of way. So it was quite an easy job. It just, it needed two people and because my dad's really handy as well, <laughs> it needed him. Um, I don't think I could have done it by myself. Um, but yeah, the roof's on and I've just put the wooden fascia on so i painted that to match the inside of my shed and what i might also do even though the windows are white now i might paint them in the same color because they're starting to peel now and even though i really like that distressed distressed shabby chic look i think the windows are just going to get ruined if i leave them open to the elements and they also need to be um puttied back in as well because the one behind here uh, the corner is starting to, the corner of the glass is starting to come away from the frame, which is not good. Um, and I also tempted to make some new curtains because the patchwork ones I made uh, when I first got the shed four years ago started to fade and I'm not happy with them. <laughs> so I'm going to make some new curtains. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. I think the finishing touch to the outside of the shed is going to be something to put here to cover up that gap. Now I know usually it's like a diamond. Part of me is thinking, oh, I'll just put like a heart up there with like my plot number. Or maybe get someone to make like a sign that says lavender and leeks or a sign that says the little purple potting shed or something just to put in the middle there. I think that will be the finishing touch. Um, but I'm going to give you a little tour of the inside. I'm going to take you off of the tripod because um, the shed's so small, it's hard to get everything in there. So I painted the inside of the shed finally. Again, it's been one of those jobs which has just been put off. And even though there's not much, you know, there's not much on show. I'm really happy with it. So I painted the whole roof. And then all the sides. I left the wallpaper up. Because I think it's quite a nice touch. And all the pictures there. Oh, it's really sunny. I don't know if you can see very well. So, yes. The shade I used was Cupronol Garden Shades. And it was called Pale Jasmine. But I think it just makes the shed look brighter and somehow bigger. I know that sounds really weird, but I just love it. So there's also some guttering here which needs to be attached to the side of the shed so that will feed the rainwater into the water tank. I've got all my tools hanging up. Um, there's random bits down here plant supports, bits for my dad's shed which I'm keeping in my shed for him. There's the cabinet which is just full of 
all the bits and pieces they need. You'd be surprised how much this cabinet fits in. And then there's the oven. And the much needed tea facilities. And then a couple of chairs there. Although it's just about big enough to fit two people in <laughs> and to squeeze. It's six by four, um, which is the regulations for this site. But that's it. I mean, I think if I could get a bigger shed, I would. But I'm, I'm quite happy with my little purple potting shed. I also need to paint the inside of the door. So I'll be painting that in the pale jasmine colour as well to match the inside. And that's the shed. I know this video isn't really much, but I just wanted to show you the shed because I'm so excited about it. <laughs> like, I know it's only 6x4 and it's absolutely tiny, it just about fits everything I need in, but it it's so much more than a shed to me. It's like my little haven and sometimes it's nice to come up the allotment, not do any work, but just sit here with a cup of tea and just look out and just enjoy a bit of quiet time and for me it's really really important really important so it's it's way more than a shed for me it's like my little haven and even though it's only six by four i don't think i would want it any bigger i honestly don't i think if it was big enough to have a bed in i probably would just live up here um so it's probably a good thing that it's not any bigger there's still a few little jobs that I want to do, like I need to paint the inside of the door and make a little sign for the top of the fascia there. I also want to put a little shelf above the cooker to hang like my cooking utensils and, and put like the pots and pans on. Um, but I'm trying to find a vintage one that will fit in that little tiny space. Um, so until I find one, uh, it's just going to be left like that. But yeah, I basically, I just wanted to show you what I've been up to regarding the shed makeover um, most of you probably follow me on Instagram and Facebook and things so you've probably seen it on there but I wanted to show you on YouTube as well um, my little purple shed so there it is I'll keep you updated with all the other bits I'm sorry this video isn't any longer um, but yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time